the video. If you haven't read the title, of course you did. This is a review. Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage. What can you say about the Triple X franchise? It's fun. It's over the top. It's not perfect Hollywood action, kind of just like my last review. It's from for Underworld. It's just, just a fun action movie, you know? And I could sit here and, and talk about, like, oh, this, 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 and that. But it's still just an action movie. If you don't like just dumb popcorn action, which is funny because I have popcorn right here. I just watched it. Just got home uh, the day it came out. At least for us. Um, regular people besides the people who got to edit it and go to the premiere and stuff. But, great movie. Really fun action. If you don't like Triple X, I can understand. It's, um, you have to like that type of action, you know? Um, it's not, it's not, this isn't bad, this, I think this is the best triple X movie that we've, got, we've gotten so far. Um, cause, it's like, cause Vin Diesel pr produced this one, and he's been working on the Fast and the Furious franchise and stuff like that on his own too. And this is just like Fast and the Furious, but without cars, pretty much, just with extreme sports and, and stuff. And, and, um, if you haven't seen them, uh, the previous one was starred, uh, Ice Cube, which was really fun, not my favorite, but really fun. Um, and the first one started Vin Diesel, and, uh, this series has been very much about agent, the Samuel L. Jackson character gathering people as agents triple X in this secret organization type of thing, like NSA and stuff like that, and they do, sh they do shit, and, um, it's pretty cool, in the beginning of this movie, it's really cool, and it opens up with Sam Jackson, and, and in this movie, um, they do the they do this thing that Suicide Squad did where they name the characters in throughout the movie. You know how in Suicide Squad, like Deadshot with the bullets, they kind of do the same thing and they do funny. And it's really cool that more people are picking up on that. Cause that was a cool part of Suicide Squad and it works for Triple X kind of. And um, the the kid at the beginning they make an Avengers joke, which is funny because Samuel Jackson is trying to get this kid to become an, another Triple X. Like every year he gets a new Triple X or something stupid like that. And um. This kid is a football player, and the guy props the place, and he kicks he kicks something. But anyway, and when they introduce him, when well, Sam Jackson talking, he's like, thinks thinking he's being offered to join the Avengers, and I thought that was funny. That's a good nod to Disney and uh, Samuel Jackson being Nick Fury over there. That was my well, probably my top tier joke of the movie, maybe or not really joke, but fourth wall break or nod that he's Nick Fury in Marvel. It's really good, uh, funny, and there's a bunch of other, like, there's a lesbian joke in it, in the movie, where, um, Ruby Rose, I think her name is, um, the chick from Orange New Black, uh, is in the movie, and she does, she says a lesbian shit, um, which is cool, and she's really hot, so, I mean, even if she's a lesbian, you could still look at her and be like, uh, she's not, she's my favorite woman in the movie, so, um, even though she doesn't do much, and she doesn't say, she's not a great actress, but she works for this type of movie, and for Orange New Black, she's okay too. But I haven't really watched New Orleans New Black, I just know that she's, um, she's a great actress, um, not the perfect, not the best, and she is good. And you have all these different characters throughout this movie, like, like, Xander, and then you gets, gets a team together to get this box, and, um, at first I thought the movie was gonna go one way, but then I realized it's, like, not even, not even that long into me, I realized it's gonna go another way. Uh, which is really cool. Um, but you also kind of think the woman he, that gets him to do, to help is a bad guy as well. So just by the way she looks, and uh, but she but I thought oh you know, she she's a bad guy and these people are bad guys. But it turns out the bad guys are the good guys. Like they're also triple X. And there's some problems. Like people are, they're still fighting each other t almost to the end of the movie, um, which is kind of dumb but interesting. Um, uh, that they're fighting each other or they're competing to get the device in the movie. And um, it's really cool. The action's really cool. Um, the introductions to all the characters is probably my favorite thing in the movie. Um, just great introductions to, to the new characters, the characters that you don't know, or great introductions to people that you already know. Um, and um, it's a really good movie. Uh, it leaves it, This movie leaves open for more movies down the line if they make enough money with this movie. Which we'll see by the end of this, of the first box office weekend, and if they make money off of the movie's entire run, the studio, and that the studio makes enough money, they'll probably do it again. I hope they do it again, because it's a really fun movie, and they're still doing Fast and the Furious, and those movies I love, and it's not for everybody, like I said, it's not for everybody. 
Uh, this is dumb popcorn action. You just gotta. It's not. You're not going into to this movie thinking you're gonna really get like Birdman or something. You know, like a Oscar contender. You just gotta go and just have fun. You know, escape. You know, look at all these really cool stunt sequences throughout this movie. It's really cool, and the cast is a lot bigger. It's really cool. It's not just. It's mainly focused on Vin Diesel, but then he's they surround him with these other people, especially a, a guy some people might not know, but. I think he's starting to get around. He's uh, Donnie Yen. He plays a uh, Ip Man in the Ip Man movies, or Yip Man. I, 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 terrible. People say it's Yip, Yip Man. So Yip Man or Ip Man or Ip Man in the um those movies, and then he, which is the guy who trains Bruce Lee. Um, and then also the uh, he also is in Star Wars uh, Rogue One. I have not seen Rogue One. I really do need to see it. I'm slacking on that one. Um, Mark, can you feel free to tell me I'm slacking the fuck out of it, because I am. Um, but, Don, and I'm glad Tony Ann is coming over and actually being in American films and seeing his American, like his English talking voice is really cool. Um, and uh, it's just really cool to see Donnie and come kind of rising up at people and taking notice, as well as some of the other people in this movie. Um, I, I can't talk about Donnie Yen enough. He is a great actor. He's a great martial artist. Wing Chun, he learned most of it. I uh, mean, it's just, this dude's great. And uh, I hope he comes becomes in more movies, in more American movies. He's been around for a long time. And uh, it's cool to see him getting coming over and doing, and doing Star Wars. Like, the dude got to be in a Star Wars movie, and now he's in Triple X. What is the next thing people, we're going to have him get to be? And I'm sure he's picking his choices wisely. Um, for what he can do, and uh, I think this guy deserves more movies because he, he's a cool dude. And but this movie, just like so many cool action set pieces and sequences, I can talk about. And the story is it's just a straightforward story, pretty much a, a double crossings and something you know with Triple X, um, kind of. And uh, it's really cool that they're building a universe around Triple X and that there's multiple Triple X's and things like that. It's really cool. I hope they do a sequel because. It's really cool. This movie was really fun. I enjoyed it. I had fun. I had more fun in this one than I did in the last two. The first one, the second one. This one is much, much more fun. Even though I love the last two, the other two were really fun to watch. This one was like, I can watch this again if I want. Like I could, I could almost see myself watch it again. I'm probably not gonna see it again in the theaters, but and I could consider myself watching it again because it's pretty fun. But um, great movie. Um, this is a spoiler, and most I think some of the stuff I've said throughout this is probably spoilers, but it's okay. Um, but Ice Cube comes back. You've seen it in the trailer. He comes back, so I mean it's not really much of a spoiler. But he comes back, and for like a little segment of the movie, and talk and, and like helps the people out, the, the team out, and also gets to talk to, to Triple X. He's like, and everyone in Triple X sees him as a legend, uh, Xander Cage, which is cool. And um. It's a really cool because you know Darius. That's his. That's his character's name. Ice Cube's name. And they're talking about that Vernon. They're all. This whole team's gonna be fugitives after this movie, which is really cool and really cool concept that these people can be on the run. Basically, kind of like how how everybody in Fast and the Furious is um, was on the run for a while. I mean, it's basically just it's Fast and the Furious and Point Break and, and like those three. Like these three movies are basically the same concept. And um. But anyway, I think this this movie can go off, and you can have tons of different people come in as past triple X's. And, like Vin Diesel wasn't the first triple X, so I remember, and then there's Pete been triple X since 2005, since he was triple X. You know, I mean, uh, 2004 when he was triple X. So it's like there's lots of room where they can bring in other great actors or really great action actors. Like imagine if they brought The Rock into the series, or if they brought like Statham, or they brought other action stars. I mean into the series, it'd be cool, and, um, I recommend you watching Triple X, or at least giving it a chance if you like just dumb, fun action, um, because I personally love action, it's something I just love going to watch, I can watch anytime, Netflix, anytime, and I have a lot of my movies in my collection are very much action and action comedy, um, in my collection, I have a lot, and, uh, so, I mean, or they can get more people like Donnie Yen over, um, so, I mean, check it out if you love action, or just want to have a fun time with the movies, Great actors. Um, IMAX is pretty cool. Um, there, it doesn't really. Um, it's not really worth it. But there are some scenes where, like, they brush up like leaves and it hits the screen, or water hits the screen, which was really cool for the 3D. But 
not enough of it throughout the movie, but there were like a couple good moments. And I was like, wow, they actually that actually cool. So it felt like it hit my glasses, um, which is pretty cool. Um, like there's like three or four different times throughout the movie where I actually hit the screen. I was like, wow, they actually did something, because most of the time it just separates the characters from the background. Sometimes like it's never really get that good. But this movie is pretty good. Doctor Strange is pretty good for three. If you want three D, Doctor Strange all the way. But um. Like, so, uh, just see it in 2D, uh, unless you really want to see what I'm talking about with the leaves hitting your glasses in the water. One water part and, like, two or three different, um, leaves, rocks hitting your glasses, um, uh, throughout the movie, because, well, that was pretty cool. I mean, it was the only showings, there's only two showings tonight, 7.30 and, uh, 10, 10 o'clock, and I went to 10 o'clock instead of 7, just because I didn't sleep in the morning, uh, uh, so, I mean... Uh, but yeah, I enjoyed the movie. If I could give it a, a rating out of 10, which I don't really like doing to movies that much, um, but if I could give it a rating out of 10, I would give it a 7 out of 10 for an action movie. Uh, 7 out of 10, not the best movie out there, but very fun. But it beat the last two sequels for me, so that's that's why I get it 7 out of 10. What are your opinions on this movie? Was it, was it better than you expected? Was it not as good as you expected? Do you want another one? Do you not want another one? Do you think you should say fuck even you? But I think the last few movies of joint is pretty good. Last Witch Hunter was fun. Um, Fast and the Furious was fun. This movie's fun, so I mean, I don't know. He's doing good. So I mean, yeah, but if you like the movie, uh, let me know. Uh, if you didn't like the movie, let me know why. Um, but if you liked the video, liked it. If you don't like it, thumbs this video down. And if you don't give a fuck, flip me off in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next review, or just in the next video in general. Hopefully we get another Blood and Haven gaming or stuff up, um, or we get another Bloodcast coming up. Um, there's some other videos that Mark's posted, so check those out, uh, feel free. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.